Hey guys, welcome to the video today, and today we're going to talk about how to improve your KD in Destiny. Now you're probably asking, why did you choose this topic? Glad you asked. The reason is I was kind of browsing through the sub Destiny subreddits, and I noticed a lot of people asking, you know, hey, how do I improve my KD? I'm a 1.0 KD, 1.5 KD player, and I want to be, you know, in the you know 2.0 KD, you know, range. And I know there's a lot of factors in that, you know, gun skill is a small part of that as well, but the biggest factor I could think of was the ability to stay alive or, you know, I guess you could tie that into situational awareness. And basically just, you know, recognizing a bad situation and when to get out of it. So when I see two, three people on my radar, that's not the time to, you know, try to make a play and be a hero. That's probably time for me to back up, reassess the situation, and, you know, always get a better angle. Destiny is all about getting a better angle. You just gotta constantly be moving, kind of adjusting, and, you know, reassessing to get that better angle. So even right there, and you just saw in the video, there was a couple guys there, and none of them had really gotten a shot at me, but I still backed out because the chances of me killing all of them was probably slim to none. So I reassessed, wrapped around and killed that guy back there. Another huge thing is whenever you're playing anywhere you are on the map, you wanna know, you know, what's my best escape route? How can I quickly get out of the situation if I'm one shot or I start getting pushed by, you know, two, three guys at once, you know, especially when you're close to a point like B in uh, control. You know, you're going to want to have those escape routes in the back of your mind, you know, wherever you are on the map. So if you have some favorite spots on a, on a map and, you know, we all have them, you want to know how to get out of them as quickly as possible if you need to. Another big thing, and you'll see in a second here after I kill this Titan is, you know, not challenging when you're down a shot. So when you're down a shot, just turn around and run. It's so tempting to be, to try to outgun someone after they got first shot because we all know, you know, nothing feels better than, you know, someone gets that first shot on you and you have a gun on and you're just like, get shot. And, you know, you just get all hyped and you're, you're super excited about, you know, you feel like you're so much better than them. But, you know, honestly, 50% of the time, that doesn't end up working out for whatever the case may be. Maybe their teammate pops out, gets a shot on you, and that's just enough to take you down when you thought for sure you are going to get that kill. By backing out and not challenging, you're just, you're giving yourself to, again, like I said, reposition and get that better angle. You can come back and probably kill that same guy. And by constantly repositioning, you're also, you know, that's a method of always keeping the opponent guessing. The advice here is not to sit down, hard scope one angle, and just sit there the whole game. That will not work because any good player is going to see what you're doing, see that angle you're watching, and they're going to come from a different angle. They're going to adapt to the way you're playing. You're just going to, you know, be caught out of position, back in your spawn before you know it. You definitely want to be constantly repositioning yourself to get those better angles and making sure you're not challenging. Another quick tip I could probably offer up that really helped me as well, and it's something little that ties more to movement, is sliding as much as possible. If you guys have been watching my gameplay, you can probably see I am sliding everywhere. And I, it's a small thing, but ever since I started doing it, I remember I watched, um, I was watching Ambu stream, and you know, one of his advice is when he was playing Warlock is, you know, I slide everywhere. And, like why well why would you slide everywhere he's like well because one helps you move faster but you know you're not constantly going to be caught like you know by a sniper or suddenly you're gonna be able to duck into cover faster if you're constantly sliding everywhere and it's going to make your movement feel a lot smoother when you're constantly sliding in and out of places and just moving around that much quicker because of all the sliding you're doing so again if i had to say one biggest thing that could help you someone improve as a player and just increase their KD if that's how they measure themselves as a great player is like I said by constantly if there's most people on your radar run if you are you down a shot run right just die right there I probably should have ran but sometimes I mean there's not always going to be the opportunity to run but you have to do it as often as you can and you know when to make that right choice it's, of course from you know paying close attention to your radar and like i said when you see multiple that's probably a good time to go all right guys that's it for the video thank you for watching and if you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what other topics you want to hear me discuss or what do you personally think helps people improve their kd